I think the team that has the greatest chance or can cover the most ground might actually be McLaren. And this is entirely vibes based, but there's a couple of things going on here. One, you've got Zach Brown saying, oh, we think it's probably 27 before we can really compete with Ferrari, Mercedes and Red Bull. So immediately to me, that's a red flag. That's like the year Red Bull put the stickers on the front of the car because they made the changes at the back at testing. Immediately, I'm like, oh, he's definitely trying to blow some smoke here. He doesn't want the expectations. You have Stella saying, oh, no, 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 we're, we're not setting performance targets. We're just setting development targets. Stella is this, a, a master of uh, managing expectations. This to me is very ominous. But crucially, in the thing um, that I really want to focus on most is the fact that out of all of these teams, they're the only team that hasn't said, yeah, we're making wholesale changes to the front and rear suspension, to the gearbox, to the this, to the that, to the everything. 